If you're in the market for a Surface Pro 3, one of the hardest things to decide is which model is best for you. Today we're going to be discussing the Surface Pro 3 i5 because it's the most popular model. We'll be discussing the differences between the 4GB model and the 8GB model. Uh, let's get the similarities out of the way. They both have an i5 processor and the two main differences are that one has more hard drive space and more RAM. And a lot of people get really confused on how much RAM is actually needed for their needs. So let's talk about RAM. RAM is an extremely personal thing. Some users will barely hit 3GB while others go way over 4. And it really depends on what you do on your computer. So I'm going to give you guys 3 simple tips to help you figure out which model is best for you. First things first is figure out how much RAM you use in a day. I would consider myself a pretty avid computer user because uh, it involves with my work. To check how much RAM you use on an average day, just right click on the Windows taskbar and go to Task Manager. Go to the Performance tab and just monitor your memory. A standard amount of memory is usually 4 gigabytes. They're base models and that's pretty much it. And the reason that is, is because people barely use 4 gigabytes. If anything, I can have 10 tabs open in Google Chrome and render a video using Sony Vegas while a background scan is running for viruses. And I hit 4 gigabytes. That's what's required for me to hit 4 gigabytes. So unless you're going to be doing some extremely hardcore stuff, like doing some 3D rendering, uh, particle effects, and all that kind of stuff, you don't really need the Gigamap model. Another thing is, how long do you want to keep this system? If you want to quote-unquote future-proof your device, you'll be wise to go with the Gigamap model. If you're planning on keeping this Surface Pro for five years, maybe throughout college or something, then you might want to spend the extra cash so you don't have to, so you don't have to spend it later. And the last but not least is, what are you going to use your Surface Pro 3 for? Are you just going to be using it for college, writing essays, writing essays, browsing the web, watching some Netflix or something? Then you don't really need the 4 gigabytes. If you're planning on doing some light browsing, uh, writing essays, and watching some Netflix, then your 4 gigabyte model will probably last you 4 years easily. Because you're not doing anything that intensive. So really, it depends on how you do things. A lot of people are going to say that you should just go for the 8GB model, but $300 for 4 more gigs of RAM is unreasonable. So, it is a tough decision. It really goes down to your personal preference. Do you Are you a heavy user? If you're only going to do college stuff, like writing essays, browsing the web, then 4GB will do you fine for 4 years. If you're going to do some extra stuff on there, like rendering videos, recording, maybe do some 3D animation uh, for engineering, and if you do that, you're going to have to go for the 8GB model. I'll see you guys next time.